Welcome to Minute JavaScript, where I cover topics quickly and concisely. Today I'll be covering the array methods index of, includes, and find. Index of is used to search for an item and return the index of that item if it's found. If the item is not found, index of will return negative one. I'll start off by typing letters.index of, and I'm going to search for the letter C. Here it's returning two because it's the second index. Remember that arrays start at zero index, so A is zero, B is one, and C is two. Now if I were to search for an element that doesn't exist, let's say Z, index of will return negative one. And remember, because arrays are zero index, a return result of zero means that it matched the first item in the array. Includes is similar to index of, but instead of returning a number, it returns a boolean on whether or not the item is found. Here I'm going to search for the letter C, and of course it returns true. If I were to search for something that doesn't exist, let's say the letter Z, I would expect it to return false, which it does. Now find works a little bit differently from index of and includes. Find will return the item instead of a true false or the index. It also takes a predicate, which is just a fancy way of saying a function that returns a boolean. Here what I'm going to find is the first dog. Now while there are three dogs in the array, you can see that find is only going to return the first one. And if I were to search for something that doesn't exist, find will return undefined. One thing I often like to do is to refactor this outside of the find method. Here I'm going to select refactor, extract a constant, and I'm going to say is dog. And now I can pass my is dog function to is find. Now this makes is dog reusable. It also makes it easy to create other functions. So now I have two functions, isDog and isCat, and all I have to do now is pass the one I want into find. So you can see on line 11, I'm able to find a dog, and on 12, I can find a cat. And now as a bonus, I'm going to demonstrate find index. So I'm going to copy and paste 11 and 12, and just rename these to find index. And now you can see where find is returning the item, find index returns the index. Thanks for making it to the end. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know by liking, subscribing, or commenting on the video, and I'll see you next time.